Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for my baby dragon, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And yes, this has become a Scorpio Pisces channel. Y'all are my y'all are my peeps. This is where you belong. And scammers beware because you know I've been telling people for the last year, be yourself. Be the truth of who you are. Now all these gamers are getting caught. They're getting their profile shut down. Even if they're making money. And they're having to be themselves. Not getting as much attention that way. Poor things. The real real is all that will be accepted in this next move. Of... The shift. <clears throat> Something is definitely coming to an end here. You're getting your justice. You can't see it yet. But your intuition is telling you. That something is on its way. I need my glasses. These are my dragon deck. You're not sure if you want it, though. Okay. So, something has definitely ended. For the real real. Like, <clears throat> it's done. A ten of swords. Ten swords to the back. Betrayal. Then we have the world card. Then we have justice. And then we have the two of swords. Not being able to see it, being at a crossroads. Because of the pain that you've endured. Holding on to that last one with everything you got in that nine of wands, the integrity. We have the knight of cups approaching. Don't know who that is yet, but we will find out. But you know you know. High priestess energy. You know you know. You don't know how you know, but you know. To the four of cups. Mm, yeah, maybe not. To the moon. To the moon, Alice. I'm feeling like you don't see this coming. And you're not really interested in feelings right now. Ten of Cups on the bottom of that deck. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a marriage that ended. Hierophant. It ended. It, it it came full circle. And it got that was a karmic completion. So that marriage is over. It's got the heck day. I didn't I didn't see that. The heck of the keys. I got one on my neck. I love it. It's beautiful. The keys to the kingdom. Whatever kingdom that is. All right. So somebody just got a message. Ah, okay. So with this world card. Now you might be getting married. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, okay? But I feel like somebody is trying to keep a marriage from ending. We have the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen, the Queen of Cups. So, I feel like somebody is trying to stop the other one from moving forward here. They're telling, they're coming in and saying, well, I love you. It could be a Taurus. I love you. I got Taurus, Libra, Pisces on the board so far. 
I really love you. I really want to be with you. I really want to stay with you. But that is a karmic completion. So I think you've heard enough, Scorpio. Yeah, you heard enough. Lying, cheating, and stealing. Somebody's getting justice for that. Seven of Swords. The Hermit. Might have forced you into Hermit mode because you don't want to be lied to anymore. So you can find balance. That's Virgo and Sagittarius. And here comes the chariot that you don't see coming. Cancer energy. Doesn't mean it's a cancer, it's just energy, guys. We just had a full moon in cancer. This could have all culminated on that full moon. And now it's coming towards you. And you can't see it. You're, you're really stuck in your head about somebody. So you don't know this person's coming and you don't even know if you want anything to do with love at this point because of this karma that somebody's definitely facing, good or bad. I mean, with, with the Queen of Cups, I always look at that as, you know, somebody who's very nurturing, loving, and you're getting spied on by the King of Cups. I'm not lying, man. Check this out. Two of Swords. So this could be another water sign. And it could definitely be a Cancer. Um, or you have Cancer strong in your chart. There's an offer coming in. You don't see it yet, but it's coming. And it's like all of a sudden going to come in as soon as you get your balance. As soon as you steady yourself. This person is going to come in and say, hey, let's work this out. And you're like, nah, I don't want to work it out. I don't want to. I don't want to. Son. You got two people coming towards you, Scorpio. And it's up to you to decide which one's which. Because here is that Knight of Cups again. And then here's the player. Time to work it out. Do you just want to play? Or do you want love? Time to work it out. Because it's about to show up. And, and, and with the king and queen of cups, this is real love. This is not knight of wands energy. So you might have two people coming towards you. One's a player. And one really is in love with you. Use your intuition here. I'm feeling that really, really hard right now, Scorpio. You got it in you to know what's up, what time of day it is. All right. So you really don't have to think about it because you're going to know intuitively which one's real and which one's not. And this might be somebody who who's new who actually does want to marry you I see you both being very guarded moon energy again this person is unsure if you will accept but they're gonna send it anyway and I see you coming into some money here I'm loving that. So, you are coming into some kind of financial uh, abundance because you stuck up for yourself. And, and, and that's, you know, maybe you're the Knight of Cups here. You stuck up for yourself. And for that, for standing your ground, you're being rewarded. You may not see it just yet, but it is a financial reward. All right. So what is this high priestess about? I don't I'm not doing the past, guys. This is all 
present and future energies. In my hair. It's a problem with short hair. It just goes. It's not real short, but still, you know. I don't like it. I like having long hair, so if you just tie it up in a bun. It's okay. I bought me a fake ponytail. <laughs> One of those clipping things. Yeah, I'll be wearing that on my trip. People don't care anymore. Okay. So, somebody wants something with the truth. Do, 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 do. Judgment is here. Sagittarius energy. Got Sagittarius here twice. I win. Six of Wands, King of Swords, and the Wheel of the Wheel of Fortune. Did you spell it right? Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Wrong game show. I, n I never watched game shows much. My parents did, and that's why I know what they say. Okay, so you won with the truth here. This is all a win-win situation for you. You're not sure if you want love. You really don't see it right now. It's it's kind of it's kind of in the way of whatever you're trying to accomplish here with this wheel of fortune and this page, or page, this ace of pentacles. So you're not you're looking at things from a rational perspective as opposed to, you know, <gasps> so and and using your rational mind to get what you want. Somebody definitely wants to bring something back from the dead here. And you're like, nope. It's what you asked for, but I guess now you're seeing things in a different light. So you're seeing it in the Seven of Swords energy. Like, like, for real, for real. Ah, cards are going anywhere. You could do have a choice. Like I said, you do have a choice. Ooh, Emperor Energy and Queen of Pentacles. I knew it. Jealous much? And the reason why this person's coming back in is because they are jealous. They're jealous of your whatever your truth is that you want about. And maybe it's because you're financially get, getting financially stable. And they, they wanted to see you fall. So they're coming back in to see if you're still stupid. But there is somebody else here. A new person. Somebody who's watching you. Social media, platform, I don't know. But somebody who's definitely watching you. I do feel like this might be another tarot reader. That somebody's watching. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm getting the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles and a choice. Now I heard something uh, from one of one of one of the girls that I watch about people shutting their comments off because of all the nastiness and projection that's going on out there. Yeah. Well, that's why I. You know, I, I'm not I'm not a control freak by any means. But I will not put up with anybody's mouth. I'm just like that. I'm that bitch. So, uh, you can be jealous all you want. You have all... You, I don't care. Okay? I, I But you, you leave comments like that. I look at every single comment. Not only will I delete it but I will re report you for harassment I don't have to listen to that nobody's got to listen to that they all talking about you being jealous of you and all kinds of shit and you're like you know what bitch 
I'm making my money. I'm doing my thing. I'm bossing up in my life and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do to get what I want. Do I want love? Maybe, but not on my terms. You know, you don't have to be super something. I got Sagittarius, I got Virgo, I got Taurus. Yeah, you're going to have to be a super something. There's Gemini. Somebody wants to love you. I got Aries here too with the... Um, with the uh, Emperor. Somebody wants to love you. But you're not sure about it. I think you just got out of a relationship or... A situation ship. Doesn't have to be. And I don't think that's what you're looking for. Oh, they mad. They are so mad. Boy, Spirit is point, pointing that out in this reading so much. Don't! Oh, poor thing. <coughs> you left the past in the dust. And the moon card is them. They don't know what you're doing. They don't know what you, they They want to know. But you're not telling them. You five five them. You like uh, you five of cups. Uh, five was that five of pentacles? They want. They ain't got no money. So they're, you know, relying on you giving a shit. Perhaps you do. Perhaps you don't. That's entirely up to you. But anybody coming back. To you right now with this six of cups they're not coming right they're coming with jealousy competition maybe there's a lot of people competing for your attention right now be careful of the seven of swords we're going to clarify that what is the seven of swords about spirit 1717 17. What is the Seven of Swords about? The Hermit, the King of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. They're lying. They just, they just don't, they don't want to give up. If you guys, if it's a financial situation, they don't want to give that up. So, as long as they can keep you hidden. I got I got the hermit here again. So, the hermit on the hermit and seven of swords tells me somebody's hiding out. Hiding out from possibly a king of wands. And building generational wealth. Standing their ground. Wishing a bitch would because that's the seven of wands twice. You might be a little overly guarded right now, Scorpio. You know, I mean, if you want love, which is the king and queen of cups, you're going to have to look at somebody's offer. If you don't want to look at any offers and just count your, count your pentacles, honey, that is all entirely up to you. What is this chariot and this page of pentacles about? Yep, I knew it. Offer of love. From possibly Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be a past person. Remember that. A Virgo and Sagittarius heavy here. So, it doesn't have to be a past person. I do see somebody coming back and then I just see somebody new coming in. I love you, baby. And there's that Knight of Cups for the third time. Damn. See, I feel like that Knight of Cups is you. You're ready to, to kind of, you know, give your love if it's the way that it's supposed to be. And I think it is, and, you, and it's freaking you out. It's like, ugh, but, but, but. It's coming in the way you wanted it to come in. And you're like, uh, but, but, but.
But you gotta understand that somebody is definitely lying here with with the Seven of Swords. Somebody's coming out of hermit mode. I feel like, you know what I feel like? Maybe I shouldn't say it. I feel like this person is willing to do whatever it takes to get in your pants. And I'm just going to put it to you like that. Empress. This person is willing to do whatever it takes to be your emperor. You're about to receive a message from somebody. This could be somebody at work. Yeah, somebody wants somebody wants to take you off the market here because they're jealous. They're jealous of all the attention you're getting. And just like magic, your third eye says, "Say what? <laughs> you've been you've been manifesting this for quite some time, but it's like say what." What do you mean? You want to make me your wife? I'm an empress. I ain't gonna take a step down from my throne. Sorry. Because I know I know. And I ain't got to. I ain't got to do nothing I don't want to do. Yeah, there's the sun. Ta-da! You get what you desire. Which in this case I feel like is more financial abundance than love. Oh yeah. What I love you could be this could be family too, Scorpio. It's your turn. It's your turn to do the sticking. I do feel like that's what's going on here. To a queen of wands. Somebody who drastically betrayed you. And now it's your turn. Tables are... And shoes on the other foot. <laughs> because you're looking good. You're looking hot. I think you just want to play. For a little minute. I think you just want to play. I don't, I don't think you're even interested in a relationship at this point. Even though there is a Ten of Cups coming towards you and a Ten of Pentacles. Could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, another water sign. I think you just want to play. You're done with the love situation. You're done being part of a three-party situation. You're done with all that crap. That's why you ghosted it. Who is this King of Swords? I think that's you, but... Who is this King of Swords? Somebody trying to hang on to the money. You see right through him. High Priestess energy. You got the High Priestess and the Empress here. So you see right through him, Scorpio. It's like... And, and 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 that's why I told everybody, you know, stand in your truth over the past year because all will re all will be revealed. It, these scammers, all, everybody, you all gonna be caught. So if you don't stand in your truth, you are gonna get caught. Yeah, it, it, for for whoever this person was, could be a Gemini. Uh, they were just looking at the money. They, they, they don't want to lose the money. I don't know what that means. Union's going to happen. A healing's going to happen here. That's the wheel of fortune with the six of wands. A healing is going to happen between you and somebody else. But I don't think it's a past person. I think it's somebody that might be around you now. Maybe you're dating. Maybe you're looking in other places. Because I do see... Like I said, I feel like you're the one who's kind of done with the lover's situation. And 
looking elsewhere just to have a good time. Don't need nothing but a good time. How can I resist? Cause I ended that shit and I'm getting new shit and that's what I want. <laughs> Sorry guys. I go on tangents occasionally. Um you know, sometimes it, it kind of sucks being psychic. But Scorpios and Pisces are very psychic. They know when you're bullshitting them. But there is, there is an emperor here. Somebody who matches your energy. You said no. Or you're going to say no. Somebody's offering you something very fair here. Like I said, it's somebody that matches your energy, but they might be a little too pushy and a little too bossy. And they're about to send you a message, and you're going to walk away from them. Five of Pentacles again. You're going to go stand. You're going to sit on your throne, and you're going to go stand. Because look at the way this the, the moon came out with this lovers. Five of Wands again. You know they're coming at you out of competition, out of jealousy. Come to me right. Or don't bother. Because, like I said, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer are all very psychic. They're going to see your shit from a mile away. And if you come in trying to hurt them or make their, or push them in any way to make a quick decision... You're going to lose. Just saying. You're going to lose. Not only will you might lose your chance with this Scorpio. But you will lose any chance in the future. So. Take it slow. Don't be pushy and bossy. Because Scorpio will mess your day up. They'll choose to move on. They'll choose to move away, and they will go block. What is that five of pentacles about? That's twice I got it. I just don't think Scorpio, yeah. Scorpio's got a brand new passionate beginning here, and they ain't got time for your nonsense. That's why they're ghosting. The shtick. Because they're, they're going to go enjoy their life for a little minute. So whoever just got ghosted by Scorpio, my sentiments. Been there. I got Scorpio rising, but I fell in love with the Scorpio. And they, are, they were already married. Like I said, they still might be. And they might be trying to bullshit you into having this brand new beginning. They want to fight for you now. But what they really want to do is humiliate you and, and make you think that you're second guess your intuition here. So do not let anybody push you around, Scorpio. Stand up and be the one doing the pouring, not the one that's being poured on. Because this is sheer hatred. Brand new beginning. And the fool. So you get this brand new beginning, right? But you've got to put the past behind you. you got to make sure it stays there. Ten of swords. Done. Because I think that the person that you're dealing with is married. If you're not married to them, they're married to someone else. And then you have new love coming in. But you have to put something to rest before that new love can take off. Four of Wands, Hierophant. It, it, it definitely feels like a marriage that you have to put behind you so you can have this brand new beginning. Let's see what the love oracle's got to say. 
I like these better than I do the Romance Angels. Romance Angels are so limited. I'm just not that kind of honky. All right, Phoenix Rise and Coffin. Oh, stop it. Hair is so short, it's like tickling my face. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So learning how to love yourself enough to have this brand new beginning because it's time to put a pin in it. You are the phoenix rising. Endings bring new beginnings. New phase. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection. It's new new because you are definitely putting shit to a, to, to a stop. That's a death card. Dun, 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 dun. Sabotage, rebuild, interrogate, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So like I said, this person doesn't realize it's over Scorpio, so they just keep persisting and, and, and that's why you keep ghosting them. Because they, they don't get it. They don't get that you're just done. That you're focusing on yourself right now. Not today, Satan. I'm not dealing with it. Avoiding a conversation, call, or person. I can't make it up. You do not want anything to do with anybody right now. I think you're just staying in Hermitville. But you, you got got to come out of that. I think I, I think you I think you're just horny. Sorry, but I'm going to put it to you like I, I feel it. So, satisfy that desire if you want to, but um only look at it like that. Because I do feel like people are going to try to push you into situations you don't want to be in. And you manifested a lot of this. Uh, in and out of your life. You've done a lot of work here. Lots of shadow work. I'm proud of you. And I don't think you have any affections for this person that's coming back at all. But they're awfully damn concerned about you and your occupation. <laughs> they might even be in jail. Uh, and this could be spiritual jail as well. If they don't know what's, what time of day it is. Look at, that, look at this. They want to know what you're, what, you're, what you're making, what you're doing. This mature man wants to know about your finances and your work. None of your damn business. None yet. That's why you don't even want to talk to him. You don't even want to talk to him. You done walked away. That could be a father figure. Because you got the emperor here twice. So that could be, definitely be a father. They're jealous, they're mad, they want to push you around, they want to boss you around. You're like, nope. I'm going to take my happy ass somewhere else. Bye now. Even if I walk off a cliff, it's better than whatever this was. Like I said, I'm proud of you, Scorpio, because this was a lot of shadow work. And you came out the victor. You came out the winner of your own self. And you do get a brand new beginning in passion at the end of this when you're willing to open up. Right now, I don't see you opening up. I see you standing with that seven of swords ready to swing on a bitch. So, yeah. Um, once you put all this muck muck behind you completely, I think you're just going to go have a good time. Don't need nothing but a good time. How can I resist poison? I remember this time. I call. I think I said it was Molly Crew last time. Um, Aries, you didn't imagine it. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. But it doesn't mean Scorpio wants anything to do with you. Um, 
I don't see I don't see you wanting anything to do with these people, whoever they are, whoever's competing for your attention and hating on you. It's like you're you're hiding, you're hiding from all of them. Let's see what uh, Taurus has to say since we got Taurus on the board. What does Taurus have to say for themselves? Now note that my my comments are my opinions. They're personal. I've dealt with most signs. I pretend that I don't care. I'm not pretending. I don't care. Gemini, I don't really know you. Yeah, I think you're going to keep that Gemini at arm's length for a while. Cancer, I want to tell you so much. I hope it's nice. Leo, I'm happy that it's over at 35.55. Virgo, I don't trust you. Lots of nerve there. Well, I mean, super huge ones right there. From a Virgo? <laughs> yeah. Libra. I need to focus on my healing. Absolutely. Do the shadow work that Scorpio just had to do. Scorpio. I hope I will see you again soon sometime. Maybe. And Sagittarius, I focused on you instead of my pain because I'm schizophrenic and so am I. Where am I at? Oh yeah, Capricorn. I wish you would come back. Back, back, back. Yeah, it looks like that, but I don't think you're gonna get a second chance there, bud. Aquarius. Atawi. Atawi. And Pisces. Thank you for leaving me. You're welcome. And you to everyone else. We are more alike than I like to admit, but I'm not going to admit to it because if I did, you would think that's an open door to come in and mess with me. So... I do feel like you have a lot of haters right now, Scorpio, because you're choosing you, and nobody gets it, and especially any old people that you were de dealing with, they don't get it, they're trying to compete with you, like, it's like a race for love, what is up with that anyway, you know, I I've got people hitting me left and right, like, thinking that, yeah, out of nowhere. I'm just going to start talking to you and, and I'm just going to like fall in love with you because you pretend to be somebody you're not. <clears throat> Wrong answer. Gaia's garden. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. And so goes on this entire drama. I feel like it's a soap opera. Um... You got the River Queen in reverse. The flow, letting go, uh, natural. What does it say? Innocent? Oh, natural movement. My bad. But it's in reverse. So I do feel like somebody's a serious control freak here. And if you want what you want, you're going to have to let the grip go a little bit. You can't, you can't control everything. No matter how much you want to. I mean, I would love to control everything. I'm surprised you didn't get the Shadow Queen. But you can't. It's, that's just not the way the world works. There she is. Page 100. Synchronicities are off the chart these days. So this is like going back to the beginning. All right, so this came in reverse. This is turbulent waters rap and rapids to cross are directly ahead of you. You have no boat to navigate now. 
It's just you and the water going where it takes you. That said, although the River Queen is your challenge here, she has no intention of letting you go under. Even when there's a waterfall ahead, there is no reason to fear. The River Queen will help you over it so you can get so you can splash down again in the gentle waters of the river below, flowing with renewed purpose to the sea. Be fearless now and go with the current of events. This can be an adventure. This can be an adventure if you let it. Stop trying to control it. Because you need to trust in spirit. Spirit has no intention of letting you go under. Go with the flow, Scorpio. Hey, that rhymes. Go with the flow, Scorpio. I know how hard that is for you, too. Like I said, I'm a Scorpio rising, so I get it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, those are your messages. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you tonight, 7 p.m. at the live stream. Uh, I may be putting up another video. I don't know yet. We'll see how the day goes. I've got, you know, a pretty busy day today. I'll talk to you later. I love you, baby dragons. Mwah. Bye for now.